Hey guys, Sprout here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through some improvements that I think Battlefield Mobile needs to work on before they release to us another beta test slash alpha test, whatever you want. Now, obviously, you should all know that the alpha test is now ended. You can't play. You can still load the game, but you can't log in. It just says it's ended. Thanks for participating. Now, what I'm not going to do in this video is what another YouTuber is doing and list all the obvious things that are going to bring to the next one. Like he said, they're going to add a new map. They're going to add a new mode. It was like a waste of my time watching your video. Thank you very much. If you know who I'm on about, you know who I'm on about. But anyway... So guys, I've got nine things on my list, I mean, probably more than nine, but some are like double-barreled with each other, that I'm going to go through, that I think from my personal experience playing the Alpha Test, that I think uh, industrial toys slash dice slash EA need to work on um, specifically to improve the game. Some of the things that have personally annoyed me or just generally i think need improving so without further ado guys if you do as a massive favor like the video make sure you do subscribe as well and we'll get straight into it right so guys this first one is going to be the obvious one the only one on this list that's a bit obvious it's the graphic optimization on low spec devices now as you know i've got a quite high spec device for 12 gigabyte ram snapdragon 865 and i can't play the game on max settings as you can see in the background it's pretty nice looking now i know if you for instance put the game down to low settings there's certain things that it'll not show that it does on max settings for instance destructible environments and stuff there's certain places on the map where if you shoot or you blow up or whatever, you get debris falling, you get bits of it going off and stuff, and it just generally gets destroyed. On the low-end devices, this didn't show. And I think it's one of them things that sort of people are missing out on if they're not, you know, prepared to prepared or can invest in a decent device, you know, to play the game. So I think optimization for the low-end devices is going to be high priority because a lot of people, if you think about it, the mobile um, community, most of were have low end to medium devices not everybody's got a gaming phone or a, you know the latest samsung or whatever so i think optimization for for the low end devices to actually show what's freaking going on on the map or in the games and stuff it's going to be a massive plus for industrial toys to work on to just bring that battlefield experience to a lot more players Next one, guys, I think the hood needs a lot of work. There was a lot of customization options for the heads-up display that I couldn't do, like, for instance, um, dimming my keys. You know, sometimes I like to have my me, me, me shoot button here, but I like it to be, like, sort of see-through so I don't get distracted by it. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. And there were certain things with the vehicles and stuff you couldn't move on the hood. It annoys us to hell when there's certain keys you can't move, they're just stuck where they are, and it ends up with my certain hood display, the same, my shoot button's in the way of it. There's, there's a certain thing on Call of Duty Mobile, I can't remember which one it is. I, th I, can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's a zip line or something, doesn't let us move it, and it, it annoys us beyond compare. But just little tiny improvements, just more editing options, more... Um, you know, movement of certain keys would help immensely. Right, this is something that wasn't in the alpha test, which is the gyroscope. I think it just needs to be added for ADS or full gyro control. I don't use full gyro control. A lot of people do. But even just having it on ADS only will help my sniping immensely. I avoided the sniper rifle because I just couldn't aim with it. Another thing with the sniper rifle is there wasn't a release to shoot mode. It said it, but it wasn't. So you could either manually aim and manually fire, or you could hold the, the auto ADS button. But what it did is, as soon as it zoomed in, it shot, and it just, unless you were like bang on target, every time you went to shoot, it was ridiculous. So I think adding the release to shoot system for sniper rifles it's going to be a massive plus because a lot of people like to you know quick scope which is fair enough a lot of people like to quickly open the scope fire you know run out the way that's what i do on card i do that on PUBG and stuff if i miss i miss if i hit i hit but the the option to have it is going to be immense especially for when they introduce shotguns as well it's going to help a boatload to have the release to shoot feature 
Right guys, you might have noticed during my videos that I was playing, I did not get in the tank. I think I got in it once or twice off record. Uh, the tank is very, very underwhelming the way it is right now. The reload time for the main cannon is about 15 to 20 seconds. Now, say you miss, right? There's a, there's a, there's a rocket launcher troop aim that year. You miss with a thing. You swap to the machine gun. You kind of hit them, whatever. It's very underwhelming. You'll find, if you did play the alpha, majority of tank drivers would camp in a corner or something and shoot from there. Because when you try to be aggressive with it, you know, charge in, you know, like you do on PC, console, on the other battlefields, the reload time really let you down. Because by the time you were reloading, someone had hit you with, like, six rockets and destroyed you. And I think, I think the tank needs to be the tank you know what i mean it has to be shit there's a tank coming i need to get out of the way not oh well, he's fired and missed i've got time to shoot him i've got time to throw grenades i've got time to get my rocket launcher out it, it was very underwhelming and i think the tank specifically that the tank itself looked brilliant don't get us wrong but the design and blah 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 and the the actual game play mechanics of it the driving the aim and stuff but the the reload time really let it down and it needs to be improved to actually be overpowered and not just a temporary, you know, A to B armoured vehicle to then jump out of. Because I just found that it just didn't work the way it was. And guys, on the subject of the tank, maybe it's not the tank, but the ATVs. I think the vehicle overall control needs improving. You might have seen the clip I put up where I tried to C4 tank. Put C4 on the ATV and I drove. I crashed twice. On slight corners and stuff because the control of the ATV was just not sensitive enough it was too rigid and you you go to turn a corner but unless you were treating it like you know an F1 game or a rally game and you you, you sort of prejudge the corner before you get it you couldn't turn around the corner enough it didn't have enough turn on the wheels or the the controls to actually get around the corners properly and I feel like they need to optimize the vehicles themselves to better have more maneuverability because it was literally if you're not traveling in a straight line it was pointless being on it in a small knit map like bizarre you know lots of corners lots of little side streets and stuff i found myself getting killed on it more than i was actually finding it useful in the slightest right next one bit of a cosmetic one the hit markers when you're shooting someone felt a bit off sometimes i was shooting at someone and I could see the health bar going down, but I wasn't seeing my hit marker. And I wasn't sure if I was shooting them or someone else was shooting them. And it just seems like... I don't know if it was the ping. It could have been the ping. Like, obviously, 200-odd ping that I was playing on. But it seemed like the hit markers weren't optimised enough to actually register when you were actually hitting someone. Especially with a snipe rifle at long range. Because you can't see the health bar. There was no telling that your shot was on target or it was off target or what. And vice versa, if you are receiving damage... Yes, you did get the little indicator, but it wasn't always true to where someone was shooting at you from. It was literally, you know, that direction, but not necessarily aiming at the person who shot you. And it just seemed a bit like a bit pointless. So that it needs to be optimized to actually show you the area. Plus, I think a little bit of like, you know, on the screen when you're getting shot would be immensely helpful rather than waiting to rely on the, the little red line because the TTK was very very low you know you could you could spray someone a definite matter of seconds and if someone's picking you off at long distance with a assault rifle it'd be nice to realize that oh shit i'm actually getting hit here i need to take it into cover right the minimap on the game guys was pretty decent it turned with your character i don't think you could add it to be fixed i would prefer a fixed one but i found the minimap didn't auto zoom when you came in to see it a, a, a corridor or a side street or something i think if it zoomed in automatically a little bit of optimization on the minimap could have went a long way into improving the gameplay overall because it was it was showing basically the whole map the entire time. Maybe it's not the whole map, but the the, the 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 corner of the map you're on or the middle of the map, whatever. If it zoomed in when you came into a short corridor, you know you might be able to see these little side corridors and stuff a bit better. You know, quick look. Oh, there's a little bit of place I can duck in here, or someone might come from there. Instead, I was like looking at it, thinking, well. I'm there on the map, but this little side street's not showing. It's not zoomed in enough. A little optimization on the automatic zoom of the mini map would have been a massive plus. I think that's something you need to work on for the next one. Right, guys. Uh, if you chose a frag grenade, is just is your off hand weapon, whatever, instead of the C4, and you went to throw it and you kept a hold of it. You know, I'll let it cook a little bit. There's no timer on the cook. It, it needs. We need to know 
when this grenade's going to blow up. Not so much that we don't hold it too long and kill ourselves, because a lot of people aren't, you know, stupid like that. But to actually judge, I'm going to throw at this guy running, and when it hits the ground, it's going to blow up, because it's going to blow up in 2.5 seconds or 2 seconds, you know. Instead of, I'll just have to keep throwing the grenades and try and judge it for myself. Sometimes I'll get the kill, sometimes I won't. I think a little cook time, a little timer, you know. You've got five seconds before this blows up as soon as you throw the pin. Would be a massive plus. Last but not least, guys, in Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4, I can't remember which one it started showing it in, but when you go to spawn on your squad mates, it would have a preview on the map screen of what your squad mates doing at that specific time so that you can judge whether or not you actually want to spawn on them. Also, it wouldn't let you spawn on your squad mates if they were under fire. Now on this one, if you spawned on your squad mate and he was about to die, you would spawn in and die instantly, you know? A little sort of preview. Or the inability to spawn on them if they're under fire would be a massive plus because a lot of the times, like I say, I'd spawn on a squad mate and just die straight away. And it was just, it was annoying. This is one of the annoying things about the game. That just, it was like a cosmetic thing or whatever. That just, if added, would have saved a lot of heartache. Right. Anyway, guys, that's my take on what I think needs improving from the alpha. Let us know in the comments what you think. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong. If you think I've missed anything, let us know. You can also jump on my Discord server. I linked in the description. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel, as I will be doing a lot of update videos as I get info on Battlefield Mobile. And, of course, when the next alpha slash beta comes out, I will be jumping straight in there. So make sure you have subscribed. And please like the video if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.